What's going on YouTube? Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on the latest M2 mini Windows PC. So quickly go through the specs. This has the Intel Pentium J4205 quad core CPU with Intel HD graphics. You have eight gigs of DDR4 RAM, a fast built-in 128 gigabyte M2 SSD storage. You have built-in dual band Wi-Fi AC, Bluetooth version four, supports USB 3, dual HDMI outputs, and a fully licensed version of Windows 10 Home. Now, the mini PC itself is made completely from plastic with a matte finish. You've got all the logos on the top, nothing on the front. On the side, we have a full SD card slot with two USB 3 ports. If we keep going, you've got a physical power button, a power socket, and two HDMI outputs, and these are 1.4B standard. You've got a gigabit LAN and a headphone jack. If we keep going, there are two more USB 3 ports on the side along with some vents and that brings us back to the front. So we have a total of four USB ports. This is what the bottom of the box looks like. So inside the box, you will also find a user manual, a metal mount or bracket along with some screws. So you'll be able to mount this mini PC on the back of your TV using this bracket. Now we have a power socket and I'll tell you the voltage. It's 12 watts, 1500 MA. We've got a long HDMI cable and also a short HDMI cable included. Now this mini PC is fairly compact in size, but to give you an idea, I will bring in the B-Link Gemini X45. So this is how they fare side by side. If we put the B-Link on top, you can see that the M2 is slightly bigger. However, the M2 is much slimmer than the B-Link. So now I am going to get this hooked up to my TV and capture card and we are going to find out exactly how good this mini PC is. I'll be right back. So first of all I ran a boot up speed test and this mini Windows PC took 28 seconds to fully load to the desktop from a cold start. And here is your Windows 10 desktop. So let's have a quick look at system properties first of all. And as you can see we have 8 gigs of RAM, 64 bit version of Windows 10 Home, fully activated and ready for you to enjoy. So next up, let's check out the system storage information. So we have 128 gigs of internal storage. From that, there is 118 usable. And from that, we have 102 gigs free to use. So this is the full version of Windows 10 Home. Comes with all the usual Windows apps you would expect to find in a normal Windows PC, including the Windows App Store, where you can download all your favorite apps and games. So this is basically a full PC experience in a mini compact size. This system is powerful enough to run all your regular Windows applications and you can play quite a few games from the Windows Store including Modern Combat 5. And apparently this mini PC supports 4K so let's go ahead and play some 4K video samples from a USB drive and see how well it performs. So this mini PC could not handle 4K at 60 frames per second. So then I tested out 4K at 30 frames per second and this time we did get sound, but we still got buffering issues. So I then tested 1080p videos and that worked absolutely fine. Okay, so onto the YouTube test. This mini PC supports a maximum of 4K on YouTube. So let's see how it plays. been witness to the unspeakable horrors of the defendant's heinous crimes. You have seen... See. What was it, wild animals? So what are you thinking? I'm thinking zombies. So now we're going to test the multitasking capabilities of this mini PC. I will open up multiple applications and games all at the same time and we will see how the system copes. Now as you can see I have lots of stuff open. You can hear it all playing at the same time in the background and the system is handling it very well. I don't feel any lag or slowdown. I have at least three games and lots of applications all open at the same time and I am still able to watch a YouTube video. So we have quite a powerful little mini PC here with some great multitasking capabilities. So let's move on to the gaming test. Now this mini PC has Intel HD graphics, so don't expect to play the latest PC games. 
but you can easily play older generation titles and there are lots of games available to download from the Microsoft App Store. So let's begin with Beach Buggy Racing. In the Wi-Fi speed test we got download speeds of 67 and upload speeds of 18 megabits per second. My current top speeds are between 65 and 68 megabits per second. And in the Anti-2 benchmark test we achieved a total score of 134k. So let's see how that compares with the others. And that brings us to our top performing mini PC chart for 2019. And as you can see the M2 mini has achieved position 5 on this chart with a rating of 8.4 out of 10. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it guys, that was the M2 Mini PC. And here are my thoughts on this device. You have a solid metal build with a fanless design so it's ultra silent in operation. This mini PC supports a maximum of 1080p video from a USB drive. However, you can still stream 4K on YouTube, Netflix and Amazon Prime Video. Now this box also has dual HDMI outputs version 1.4b. Furthermore, you can play less demanding games from the Microsoft App Store or even Steam. I was able to play Asphalt 9 and Modern Combat 5 nice and smooth with no lag or dropped frames. You have plenty of internal storage space to get you started with lots of DDR4 RAM to go with it. System runs nice and smooth with no issues or lag. Dual band Wi-Fi and Ethernet speeds are great. And bottom line, for the price, this is quite a good performing mini PC. I especially like having the USB 3 ports on the sides for convenience. Do let me know in the description box below what you guys think of this one. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description box so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.